Hi guys, Emily from homesweetroad.com. I wanted to share with you a really cool project that my family is doing together this holiday season to bless um, some homeless people of our area. I talk um, in a couple other videos on um, the blessing bag concept. This is the standard blessing bag and you just fill it with items that somebody that was homeless would really benefit from having. Um, so if you wanna check out just the more standard basic blessing bag, you can check out the other video. Um, but what I'm going to talk about in this video is the blessing backpack. We wanted to put together a bunch of the smaller blessing bags, but then do a few uh, larger backpacks full of really quality items to really just bless somebody big time. So what we're doing, um, we got these backpacks. There's a funny story how I got it, but uh, it was quite embarrassing. But I'll cover that on my blog because I don't, I don't want to take too much time doing that here. Um, so inside of that backpack, this is the gentleman's backpack. We're also going to do a, a lady's backpack and some kid bags as well. But um, this is the men's and we have some uh, isotoner gloves. They're lined. Some merino socks. The merino is really good. It's called Smart Wool. And uh, it's awesome because it's lightweight, but it has all the benefits of, of wool. So it wicks away water, which is awesome. Uh, a little beanie. Next, a, a, a multi-purpose toolkit. So there's a, like a carabiner and a flashlight and then like that little handy tool that has like a zillion things for them. A journal. I need to still get a pen for that. Okay, so next I'm going to do uh, the, the stuff um, for a hygiene. We got a razor and some Barbasol. A toothbrush and toothpaste. Some chapstick. Uh, also, I got some uh, gel. And the reason I got that is because I called I called the um, one of the shelters and actually I called the Union Gospel Mission downtown and I asked them what it is that homeless people get um, that they can always always have access to through their shelter and they said that oftentimes they'll get uh, lots of shampoo and and lotions um, but some of the more specialty things they don't have so I don't know if the gentleman who ends up getting this bag will appreciate gel, but he's getting it, and if he doesn't want it, he can just give it to somebody else. Q-tips in their own little handy container to keep them clean. Some multi-purpose wipes. A little stain eraser. Ibuprofen. Some cough drops. Um, and then, oh, and also we got, I got this uh, manicure, pedicure, tweezer set. So next we'll talk about the food that's in here. And really you can fill these with, um, with any food that's packaged that would be easy, that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Um, that would be good. So we got some dried blueberries. Those are my husband's favorite. Uh, some beef jerky sticks. Some smoked oysters, a Cliff Bar, a chocolate bar, a couple more, uh, just truffles. Those are so good. Uh, chewing gum, some Altoids. And then we got a few drinks here. Um, emergency is that drink that if you're starting to get sick, you should take, um, take lots of vitamin C. So it's just all the, all this good, healthy stuff to kind of help your body fight, um, fight back. A vitamin B12 little shot there. And I got some Starbucks Via. The reason I did this is because you can usually get hot water from, uh, a, a lot of like restaurants or uh, even Starbucks for free. So, and I wanted to just get some quality, some quality stuff for them. I like Starbucks and so I'm hoping they do too. We got a sparkling apple soda 
And then lastly, a fresh juice. So that pretty much covers it for the men's blessing backpack. Um, on my website, homesweetroad.com, I have printables that you can uh, print out, take to the store. I really want to make this as easy as possible uh, for anyone who wants to do it. Also, let me just cover this really quick. Um, in, inside of the bags, what we're going to have is three different cards. One of them says open on your birthday. And inside is a little handmade card that I made with $5 and a little balloon that we made. That's just um, round pieces of paper glued to a toothpick. But you know like on birthdays how you like to have things sticking, it just kind of decorates the cupcake or whatever. So um, I wrote, it's your birthday, we want you to feel special so we made you a balloon. Please take this $5 and buy a cupcake or treat for yourself at your favorite bakery or Starbucks. You are unbelievably precious. You are made in the image of God. Happy birthday. Next, we have one for Christmas, which I haven't written on yet, but I'll just have a little word of encouragement there. And then um, this one is open when you're feeling down and it's a sunshine. So I'm also, um, Making handmade cards is pretty, it can be kind of time consuming if it's not your thing. So I'm going to make a few printables too and have online on my website. Um, so you can just print all the stuff out like on cardstock or whatever. And if you wanted to include kind of a special note, um, there'll be some of those there for you to go ahead and print out. So hopefully this inspires you to do something. It's really easy to feel overwhelmed by uh just the gravity of what people are facing who live on the street. But I've kind of come to the conclusion instead of just doing nothing and pretending like it doesn't exist because it's so hard to look at, um, we're just going to start somewhere and this is our somewhere. So I'd love to hear where your somewhere is. And um, I hope that this blesses you. Take care.